consumer in, in, the, in, the, in the world. We buy everything, man. We can be broke as hell living on a living on a shoestring budget and still have the uh, uh still have the damn uh Hellcat. We could be living we <laughs> I'm talking about Jake Jake bro, Jake will literally go go above and beyond. That was living in the basement of his mama crib. Listen, man, Dave, listen, <laughs> when I say, hey, 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 when I say Dave Chappelle was ahead of his time, y'all yeah. remember y'all remember when he did that uh, if they give reparations back to niggas? Yes. Bro, I'm talking about literally the whole economy was just like was just, oh, like, driving <laughs> heat. This shit was off the chain, everything to us. KFC is off the chart. Listen, they said they said they oh, say, oh, yes, oh, yes. Cadillac like is the number one That's all it takes in the world. Because we not... <laughs>
He said unto him, What is written in the law? What is what? What is written in the law? That's what he said. He said, What is written in the law? Ain't nobody say all, oh, but that's the Old Testament. Nobody said that. Right? Because they understood even back then in the so called New Testament era that you're supposed to keep the law. Still, read. I'll read it style. And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mm -hmm. and with all thy soul, mm -hmm. and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. That's it. That's it. That's how we're supposed to do it. Keep the laws. Keep the laws. The laws that, uh, that show you how to treat yourself as well as your people and your God. You know? Christ kept the law. The leper walked up to Christ. Christ cleansed the leper. What did Christ say? He said, go to the priest. That's in the law. Come on now. Come on. People just be looking for excuses not to keep this law. And he was honest. I asked him, you know, do we eat the pork, shrimp, crab, the lobster, do we shave his beard? He said yes to all of those. You know? But there's something like, 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 something that's been brought out through the spirit all day long, man. Right? That Deuteronomy 10 and 12. That's, it's, it's, it's good to know that you're an Israelite. But that's not the end all be all. That's just the starting point. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, uh -huh. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yeah, man. It said, Man shall not live by bread alone. Hey, bro, you heard that? The Bible said, Man shall not live by bread alone. Okay. So, so how do you feel about that? I don't want to eat. But, 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 but how can you eat when you don't know the truth? I don't get bread if I don't eat. Okay. You can eat that bread, but that bread only going to satisfy you for a little while. It won't, it's going to satisfy you to the end of the day. What book are you reading? The Bible. Which one? Bro, right, bro. We got the King James Version 1611. We got the NLT. I mean, what chapter? No, no, I meant what book. Oh, oh, Matthew, Matthew. Yeah. You believe in the Bible, bro? Pentecostal. Okay. So, hey, let, let me ask you a question. How do you feel about what um what's going on with Kyrie and Kanye? Oh, that I, I don't like that. Black people should support each other. Okay. Everybody out here that's black, minority, the white people control everything. The Jews control everything. Yeah. And they don't want us to know our truth. They don't yeah. want us to know that we have riches that yeah. are untold. The history has been burnt many times. Yeah, and not only fact. black people, but white people. So that's what makes you think that they wouldn't get rid of our history? That's true. Uh, that's right. Uh, hey, hey. Brother. I got to go. Have a nice you got a flyer? Yeah. 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 All right, bro. Take it easy, kid. No? And, and, and that's what I was saying, bro. Like, like it's it's more than just knowing. You feel me? Like you're you're okay. You're an American citizen. Nigga, it's it's more than just being just being an American citizen. They expect your ass to pay uh pay taxes. They expect you to stop at the stop sign. They expect you to pay for parking. They expect you to do what they want you to do. You feel me? So when you know that you're an Israelite, we gotta start moving like that, man. We gotta we gotta forsake the ways of. of forsake the ways in which we've uh, been accustomed to. Christmas, Thanksgiving, the Halloweens, the birthdays, all the bullshit, man. Stuff that only glorifies yourself. Do what glorifies the Lord, right? Start keeping, stop keeping Easter, start keeping Passover. Stop keeping Christmas, start keeping Hanukkah. You feel me? Stop keeping them uh, Halloween, start keeping Feast of Tabernacles. I mean, our holidays are better anyway. Let's just keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a bean. They're better. They're better than what we've been accustomed to, man. Precept. This is the book of John, chapter six, verse thirty-five. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh I said unto them, I am the bread of life. Uh -huh. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. He shall never hunger, man. Right? Because it says what? If you teach a fisherman, if you teach a man how to fish. Uh, no. If if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man how to fish, he gonna. That man gonna always be eating, man. Right? So you eating that bread today, okay, cool. But what about the bread tomorrow? The bread for next week, right? You need that, man, because Christ, because the Bible talk about the birds not having to worry about uh, 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 what they gonna eat, yeah, right? right? The Bible talk about how the Most High provides for them. Why he not gonna provide for us, his own chosen people, if we do what, um, so I can do what's expected of us? That's right. We his kids, we his children, right? The brother, um, I got you. The brother in, in, in Toronto, um, Awar, 
I used to watch his videos on YouTube, and literally, he'll start off the uh, the salute like so innocent. He'll be like, first and foremost, first and foremost, when you call all your how about you be out shine? That's all praise to the Most High God, name is only God's Son. We are the Most High's children, and that's who we are, man. That's we right. gotta continue to remember that. We gotta have that ingrained in our in, in our minds. Yeah, we went through slavery. We went through all of this, man. Right, all type of atrocities. And at the end of the day, we still here, and we double, triple, quadruple in number, man. We not like we not dwindled down at all. The Most High loves us, man, and we got to start understanding that and having faith in the Most High. Read. This is the Book of Isaiah, chapter sixty-five, verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh: Behold, my servant shall eat. Uh -huh. But ye shall be hungry. Hey man, listen. It said that his servants, the one that actually do what he do what he says do, right? They're gonna eat, right? It's gonna be damn manna and quail falling out the sky, man. But the ones that's not listening, the ones that's just you know, hey, they worried about the bread, you know, bread for the night. What I'm eating tonight? They gonna be the ones hungry, man. They gonna go to you know, they might get it, you know, uh, tempted with a damn seafood platter or some shit, and they gonna be so damn hungry that they gonna eat that shit. He says, my, therefore thus said Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Mm -hmm. Behold, my servant shall drink. You gonna drink, man. All type of stuff, man. You know. You know, hey, Azizah, you know. You know we gonna drink, man. Read. But ye shall be thirsty. Thirsty. They, they gonna be thirsty, man. They gonna be the ones drinking their salt water, man. Read. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, mm -hmm. but ye shall be ashamed. We gonna be giving praise to the Lord, man. We gonna be giving so much praise to the Most High that we listen, and we're going to be ashamed too because we could, we could have been the ones that didn't listen, that the ones that continue to to, to dwindle in, uh, in, 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 false, in falsehood, man. Right? We got to start coming into this thing, man. It's time to wake up, right? So many signs have, 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 have been flashing our faces, right? We know who, everybody, everybody is, is, is retweeting damn uh, Hebrews to Negroes. Everybody's retweeting uh, Kyrie and Kanye. I'm talking about people who I who I knew in school, who I knew for sure was 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 studies and all type of stuff, man. Retweeting, posting, all type of stuff, man. And it's a beautiful thing because with that comes the conversion, with that comes the change, with that comes the repentance, with that becomes a new person, man. You know, you be like, oh damn, I remember dude used to be. You know, selling dope to the whole block type thing. He used to be, he used to be the man in the streets. Now, he's teaching on this corner. Teaching on these street corners, man. I remember Shorty used to be real, real loose. Real, real fast. Now, she's trying her best to be a shame-faced and modest woman, man. That's what we out here to do, man. Like I said earlier, the Jehovah Witnesses, man, they took a day off. It's too cold outside. You know? We out here don't matter. Right? The snow gonna hit the ground, we still gonna be out here in Lord willing, man. Until the Most High himself takes us up off these streets, man. We gonna be out here teaching this word, teaching this uh, truth, right, and letting our people know what's about to come. We have to blow the trumpet for our people, man. Yeah, man, the re yeah, exactly, the real witnesses, man. Right, not them, not the damn, uh, 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 you know, off day, you know, PTO ass witnesses, man. We not, ain't no PTO. It's plenty of overtime, though. It's plenty of overtime in, in, in our father's business. And damn it, business is booming as of late. Business is booming as of late. You know, brothers and sisters are are, 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 are hitting up, are hitting the inboxes, asking what's coming next. You know, people are sending me, man. I've gotten so many text messages, bro, in the past two weeks. So many text messages about all. Oh, so what's about to happen? Is this what you've been talking about, right? So many people are like, hey, I don't even have to say I told you so to nobody no more. It's just, hey, they coming to me. They coming to me telling me about it. And that's a beautiful thing, man. That's a, it's, it's, it's a it's an amazing time to be alive. How you doing, sis? All right, Can you let me do something real quick? Okay. Let me step on that. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 23. 
Thus said the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all the languages of the nations. Mm -hmm. Even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. Yeah, man. Everybody, listen. Right now, it's it's kind of like a uh, like a tug of war going on, right? They're trying. It's like PR damage control. They're trying so hard to basically make the people who are bringing it out to make them look like terrorists, to make them look crazy, to make them look like they don't know what they're talking about. They're trying so hard, but there's nothing you can do, man. There's nothing you can do. At the end of the day, they're gonna have to uh, accept the fact that the black man, the Hispanic man, the Native American man, woman and child are the true children of Israel. And they're gonna, a lot, the ones who are smart, the ones that understand that they got slavery coming, they gonna, listen, they gonna start finding their masters. He, hey, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of heathens out here literally looking for their masters, man. People already listen. I done seen so many people posting uh, pe uh, uh heathens sending them mad money, man, mad cash. That's the only way you can serve me right now. If you hit my inbox and you a heathen, I'm sending you the cash app, man. I need money, man. Send me, send me, just empty out your bank account. That's what I need. Just empty it out. That's the only way you can serve me now. In the kingdom, you know, it's going to be another story. It says, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, say, we will go with you, uh -huh. for we have heard that God is with you. Hey, and I used to ask this question right like there. Um, I, I used to say, hey, excuse me, how you doing? And let me ask you a question. What's your nationality on your father's side? Black? Yeah. I knew, I knew, I, listen, I knew you was a sister. Hey, you, you know you're an Israelite? You ever heard about the Israelites before? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I had, I'm sorry, I'm you coming sorry. back? No. You coming back this way? No. Hey, get her a flyer, yo. No, I knew she, I knew she was a sister. Sis. Hey, sis, take a flyer real quick. Let's take a flyer. What's your name? All right, you take it easy. You a, you an Israelite, sis? I knew she was a sister. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um... Go ahead and read that precept again. The book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass that ten men who shall take hold out of all the languages of the nations, mm -hmm. even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, mm -hmm. saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Yeah, so so listen, they're going to start picking up their masses. And like I said earlier, I remember I asked this question. I said, uh... Uh, is it is is one of the ways that the Most High is going to feed uh, the uh, the chosen, the elect? Is are, like is he going to use these Edomites and these heathens to basically go get the mark and basically get food in order to feed you? Is that a possibility? A lot of them agree. They say yeah, like that's that's possible. You just use this person as your as just use this heathen up. You feel me? That's you go, right. You, you, you go get the chip. Feed me, goddamn. That's you right. Protect me. You be my human shield. You feel me? <laughs> they gonna know that. They gonna know that the most high is with us. They gonna know. They listen. They gonna put, oh, put, they, put their life on the line for you, bro. That's right. <laughs> you know, put their life on the line for you, man. They gonna be like, listen. I know I'm gonna die. If any, if if you a heathen, if you a heathen in America, you're you're, you're done for. You're you, listen. You're just a dead man walking unless you smarten up. And go fly somewhere else, fly to damn um, Japan or somewhere. You feel me? And other than that, you're done for in America. So you might as well just, you know, hey, get ready. You feel me? And just submit yourself now. What's your precept? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verses 33. Hear instruction and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gate. Uh -huh. Waiting at the post of my door. Yeah, man. The ones that's that, that that's constantly watching, you know, the ones that's that's that, that that's seeking, the ones that's aware, the ones that's awake, the ones that that, that are, are 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 basically blowing the trumpets, man. The ones who are alert, just like the um, those guys in the in the pigeonholes, the the people who be on on S, they be on standby, just waiting and watching, out here trying to alert the people. That's what we out here doing. That's what we out here doing, the ones that's watching, the ones that's reading, the ones that's out here just basically, hey, the ones that's, the, the crazy niggas on the corner, man. That's who it is. That's that's who it is. That's who we are, man. This is who we aspire to be. 
right? Five years ago, sometimes, uh, some of us even three years ago, a year ago, we didn't see life going like this, man. God. We had other plans, man, but the Most High said, hell no. The most, hey, hey, hot zone. the Most High said, I know you fucking lying. <laughs> Come on, man. The Most High sent us uh, on a whole nother journey, man. And here we are, man, on the, on the corner. On the corners, not a hey, 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 moving the spiritual dope, man. Right? Flipping them packs, man. Waking up the people up, man. <laughs> you feel me? That's what we are here to do. <laughs> precept, precept. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 9. For I think that God hath set forth us apostles last, as it were approved to death. Mm -hmm. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. Yeah, we are made a spectacle unto the world, man. People that knew us in the world before, they see us now teaching this word. Hey, you doing this now? You a Bible thumping ass, Christian ass? Uh, uh, hey, they, 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 listen, the they out there laboring, man. Everybody that's out here <clears throat> preaching uh, Black, Hispanic, and Native American supremacy, they're doing the work of the Lord, man. That's right. Read. It says, For I think that God has set forth us apostles last, as it were approved to death. For we are made a spectacle <laughs> unto the world uh -huh. and to the angels. Into men, we are fools for Christ's sake. We're cool, we're, we're, listen, we're fools for Christ's sake, man. The same people, the, uh, uh, the same people who were uh, doing this before, were being called Christians, man. They be called followers of Christ. Being called all type of things, man. Right, and that's us today. Three. We are weak, but ye are strong. Uh -huh. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. We are despised, man. If we not out here, you know. You know, uh, flipping a couple packs, you know, selling dope, doing all this madness, you know, we get, you know, we just, you know, don't you guys have jobs? That, that's what they uh, ask us. <laughs> we stand on the corner teaching this word. They'd be like, y'all ain't got nothing better to do? Y'all bum. They, they think we out here homeless, not knowing that we hopping in nice cars, but we living in nice, got nice jobs. We live nice. You feel me? We do nice things. That's when they see us here, they think that we some bummy ass niggas, man. Come on, bro. Precept. Hey, sis. Sister, you know if you kept the commandments, you wouldn't have to do that, right? If we all kept the law, we wouldn't have to be working so hard, man. Right? The Bible talk about the woman's feet not even setting foot on the ground, man. Right? How precious her feet are, man. Her back wouldn't be hurting, right? Leg, yeah. nothing would be hurting, man. Everything would just be, she'd just be soaking in oil, man. Just being just beautiful. What they say, uh, 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 rock and roll, she'd be glowing, man. She'd be glowing. But now, nah, because we failed to keep the commandments, now, now our women are, you know, our women gotta work, we gotta work hard. Sweating, feet hurting, right? Back hurting, head hurting, stressed out, paying these damn taxes, right? Can we start keeping the law so we can have that rulership again? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Right? We want rulership again, man. Right? Right. We, we want to be back on top again where we're supposed to be. You know how them niggas be saying, we was kings, man. We was kings, man. We was royalty, man. Right? We have to worry about a thing, man. The Most High had our back in any and everything. We, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh -huh. Read it out. It shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, Read. and the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations yeah, of the earth. We're going to be set on high above all nations upon, upon the earth. We're going to have the, man, goddamn Wakanda, right? We're about to be saying Jerusalem forever, man. That's right. We about to be saying Israel forever, God damn it. At the end of the day, man, if we just keep the commandments, we do what we're supposed to do, right? Stop with all the damn tussling, the damn uh, pa the, the damn power struggle, man. You know the tribe of Judah, man, we love the damn struggle. We love to just resist stuff, man. Let's start going with the flow what the Most High has for us, man. That's right. Anybody got a picture? We say that we're tired of this place, man, but are we really, really tired of this place? I'm tired. See, but that's the thing, though. That's the thing. We we are tired of this place, but everybody else isn't tired of this. We have to make every we have to make our people tired of this place, right? You know, and and, and I'm talking about one day. And all it takes is one day for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans alone 
to topple this kingdom. Calm. It just take one day. I, I, I always say it. I say it if blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, if we all kept the Sabbath one day, I, one, one day literally, just one day, literally. it would just, this whole place would just collapse. Literally. If we kept the Sabbath, and that's and that's and, and that's a crazy realization, man. Yes, it's that simple. Simple as hell. It's that mm-hmm. simple. Damn. If somebody, if if somebody just like leaked out all the damn, like leaked out uh, like a chain mail to every Black, Hispanic, and Native American, be like, yo, the Sabbath is on Monday to Tuesday, Monday evening, Tuesday evening. Do not buy, sell, or do anything. Do your ass go get killed. This is right? the book of Amos, chapter eight. Verse five, we're good. We're good. saying, when will the new moon be gone uh-huh. that we may sell corn? They gonna, they listen, they gonna, listen, they gonna find somewhere to be bored. They gonna find, oh man, they gonna get shit. Ah, ah, I just got to sell you. I got to buy. Oh man. You can make it worse than You feel me? But that's, but that's our people, man. That's our people. That's how you know black, Hispanics, Native Americans are the, are, are, are the people of this book. We just can't help it, man. We can't help but go off. The Bible says we always resist the Holy Ghost. We just can't help but just resist the Holy Ghost. We can't just, we just got to go against it. Go against the grain all the time. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, hold on. Yes, man. No, and no, hey, and Satan. Satan to go, and Satan to come and throw a monkey wrench and shit. And next thing you know, you'll see like some. You'll see some Air Jordans come out on the Tuesday. I was talking about the, the Holy Grail of the year come out on the, on, on, on the Sabbath day. You know how many times, you, you know how many releases I've missed uh, because uh, the Shabbat fell on the Saturday? I'm like, I, I can't do it. And that's the reason why we need that heathen that's going to grab the skirt. I'll be like, listen, <laughs> hey, I need those Jordans, man. You know, I'll pay you next week or some shit. You know? You go off. The Sabbath was given to me, damn it. Uh, you know, that's the whole thing, man. We it's it's, it's important to, uh, to, uh, to to wake our people up. It's important to know what's going on right now, right? What a time to be alive. You got to understand the time that you're in, guys. Uh, the 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 scriptures talking about how the uh, the prophets uh, uh, were jealous that they're not in, in, um, in the time that we are right now. They wish that they were uh, 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 seeing what we're seeing. Uh, you know, this is a, a crazy, and it just com- it just continues to prove the fact. Like, it's wrong. like you're looking at it, but are you seeing it? Are you seeing that Ka- that Kanye West is literally losing millions of dollars by the day? Kyrie Irving is literally losing millions of dollars every day because he's standing firm on the belief that Black Hispanics, Native Americans are the true children of Israel. Uh, Losing endorsements, losing uh, all type of stuff, man. Losing respect, and you seeing more and more and more Uncle Tom cool ass niggas, LeBron James niggas, right? That are just are folding, man. LeBron James ain't, ain't he a billionaire? Nah. LeBron, LeBron James, bro, you got all the money in the world and you still folding, bro? And he loves pussy. I think a Delta in a 